so this is part two of installing the windscreen. So last time we talked about how I cut the windscreen too short. Why? Because I was reading out of the wrong manual. I have two manuals from Bearhawk. This one is the Scratch Builders manual. It's a big, thick, heavy manual. It's, it's packed with all kinds of information. And I also have the Kit Builder manual uh, from Avapro Aircraft, and I've divided it up into different folders. Obviously, it's a lot smaller because there's not as much work to do. So you're asking, why am I working out of the Scratch Builder manual if I have a Quick Build manual? The Scratch Build manual has a lot of great information and it really gets deep into some areas that probably I don't need to know all of that stuff but occasionally I, I'm, I'm confused about something and they're just good cross references with each other so since I was working out of the scratch builder manual which I should not have been this is what I read now we can take the windshield out of the box and put it in place to see what kind of trimming is going to be needed this is one of those sneak up on it deals that we're always talking about just take off a half an inch at a time check the fit take off some more check the fit then as you get closer, take off only a quarter of an inch, then an eighth of an inch, and then so on until you get a good fit. In the quick build manual, it says, there is so little trimming needed that it could all be done with a rasp, or if you have a steady hand, a 60 grit flapper wheel on a four inch angle grinder. So let's talk about how we're gonna fix this problem. All right, so here's the plan. I've got the windshield pinned to the tabs along this B station this pillar and the windshield is all the way tucked into the back of this channel what that did was it created an even bigger gap at the bottom than I thought and so that made me rethink do I really want to do this it's gonna be six hundred and fifty dollars to replace that windscreen or can I do this in such a way that makes it safe functional practical is there, is there a good workaround to what I just created for myself? I think so. Let me show you what I'm going to do. So I've taken poster board and brought the poster board all the way down to the boot cow and taped it in place. I thought maybe at first I would go ahead and try to make my fairing on the front, but I don't think I'm going to do that. So instead, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to create a fiberglass cove I guess you could call it it's going to follow the entire inside length of the windscreen I have this modeling mesh and I just use that to form the shape I wanted for this interior and then on top of that I'm just laying saran wrap so I'll put my fiberglass plies in here one at a time and just build that up maybe just four or five plies of that that will hold the windscreen in place from forward pressure against the windscreen in flight. Uh, I hope it comes out with a, a nice finish. So the final coat will be a carbon fiber ply to give it kind of a nice finished look. Hopefully it'll be a nice trim feature for the inside of the cabin as well as a fix for the big mistake that I made. So take two on the saran wrap, it gets too wadded up and it moves around too much. So I'm using this Maxi Flash Brake Silicone Film instead, works really well. So here we have that piece all trimmed up. Probably going to cut it into three sections so it goes in, installs a little bit easier. This will all get sanded down, smoothed out, then I will apply the carbon fiber strips. In the meantime, I've gone ahead and cast the fiberglass for the fairing. There's five plies on here and uh, we're going to go ahead and start pulling that off. We'll go ahead and start trimming.
better look at the gap I created by cutting this uh, windshield too short. Also, I had to create these uh, covers for this pillar. I made these out of carbon fiber, just squared them off. Um, I needed to do that before laying the fiberglass down for the windshield fairing. So I did that first, then I laid down the fiberglass for the windshield fairing. So here's the rough cut windshield fairing in place. Typically the fairing would not go down as far as this, would not have cheeks like this. Typically the fairing would probably run along something like that. I, I went ahead and brought it down just to make a continuous connection from the windscreen across the windshield fairing and into the boot cowl. There will also be a screw here and a screw here and then I'll set screws all the way through here. Since this video is about cutting things too short, you know, I thought I'd keep that going, keep that theme going. So let me show you what I screwed up this time. I cut this side too short. To fix this, I have resined in two plies of fiberglass on the back side here. I'll go ahead and resin those in place and then just start laying on five more sheets of ply and then that should all sand out smooth. Here's the patch I made for screw up number two. I spliced this extra fiberglass in and I'll trim all this off. This angle here shows you what the gap is I have between the bottom of the windscreen and the windscreen fairing. So you can see I'm pretty adequately covered so there shouldn't be any real issue once I get that front fairing finished and installed as well as the inside fairing or cove as well so it'll be pretty sealed up once I'm done with this. So I'm pretty pleased with how the carbon fiber came out. Looks a lot better than I thought it would. And actually looks a lot better when, once it's inside and installed. I had to take out this piece here and it just wasn't going to do the job. Um, but this piece of aluminum will. And uh, that'll just be pushed right up against the, the windscreen. I will put some of this uh, weather stripping here this weather stripping here on the front face so it doesn't chafe the windscreen. Probably do the same along here with this stuff. So let's see what it looks like installed. Okay so this is what the uh, final product is going to look like here. And then that center piece works pretty well. So I'll trace the outline of this into the boot cow and then mark my spot for my holes. I won't be able to drill any holes until I get the windscreen off. One thing I'm not happy about is I'm going to see the back side of that cove. I wish I had somehow gotten out a little more flush. I'll probably make it a little more flush I guess. Okay so overall I'm pretty pleased with how everything came out with this windscreen installation took a lot longer than I thought it would. A lot of fabricating, but man, it just seems like everything I get into, there's, I just put so much detail into it and it just slows down the build. But I, I want it to look right, so I guess that's what I'm gonna keep doing. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, let people know about the video. Talk to you later.